what's the latest on employee listing at ABN Amla? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I think from a technical perspective, um, we improved our models significantly. So I think uh, when we talked about the case around the time that uh, the book was created, <laughs> um, we had a, a 84 percent uh, precision rate. I have to explain that. Um, that means that we were able in 84% of the cases to to place, to take a, a text that somebody is writing down and place it in the right bucket. So for instance, manager quality yeah. or diversity. And we have, by the way, 120 of those buckets or topics. So in 84%, we were able with our modeling, we're a topic detection model, um, to predict the right topic. But now we reached, we, we went beyond 90. So we, we kept on improving our topic detection modeling. So that's 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 one thing. Yeah. Um, and what we did recently, because now we have enough data, is we are building we build our force model already, uh, but we're continuing to look at, okay, but people talk about a lot of topics, but which of those topics are driving uh, client satisfaction or driving our employee satisfaction or any other business outcome, if you will, yeah. because of the year and a half or two years that we've been collecting this employee experience data, um, well, we, we created a, an extra source of data that we can include in all of our research. Uh, so that, that's what we are looking at now, because I think in the book, you also show a diagram with bubbles, which, which represent the topics. And those are very relevant because this is what people talk about, but it doesn't show you immediately that yet if, if a bubble is big, if it's also very important for uh, client satisfaction. So those type of models we are adding on the concept of, of empty experience, which is very relevant because it's focusing where you could do your intervention based on the target you're pursuing. And if I remember rightly from one of your previous articles, um, you the employee experience team at ABN Amro works very closely with the customer experience team anyway so you've got that opportunity i guess to see this is important for employees as you said is it important for customers as well where well, obviously not every topic is going to be important for customers and employees but you were able to do that that, that linkage no oh, you're right you're right and and, and, and again i think a, a, a huge benefit is having this data <laughs> extra data to be able to deploy it in any research we do, regardless if it's uh, customer satisfaction um, or a fraud detection or uh, average handling time in call centers, um, it is an extra data set that previously we didn't have. So the sentiment, so to say, of our employees uh, can be used to explain um, uh, some of our business targets as well. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe by your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.